Greet you all in the highly exalted, wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the book of Romans. Turning our Bibles to Romans chapter 13 and verse 5. Therefore, it is necessary to submit to the authorities, not only because of possible punishment, but also because of conscience. So uh, we, we have to submit to the authorities because uh, otherwise we would be punished. And uh, by punishment, it obviously means you're either losing the property the Lord has given you, or you're losing your time, you're losing your money, you're losing your testimony before the society because of some civil offense. Many a times we have forgotten that only those who are faithful in the dispensation of the physical assets or the physical liabilities that the Lord has given us can be handed over with spiritual revelations. That's why the Bible very clearly says that um, if you are not faithful with this unjust wealth, how can God give you real wealth? How true it is. He who is faithful in little will also be faithful in much. So this is the little that we need to be faithful. And this is definitely going to affect the revelation that we receive from the word of God. And thereby, uh, we ought to obey or we ought to submit to these authorities. Not just because of some loss that is going to be inflicted on us. And this loss, um, you know, uh, we, we lose what could have built our family, our personal lives. And by, by losing these things, we are in fact bringing a loss to the kingdom of God. Wherein we lose so much. Maybe uh, many a times we have, we have lost reputation. So many famed preachers, workers of the Lord have lost reputation because of some civil offense or because of uh, some uh, taxation that they did not submit to and the whole ministry came to a grinning halt. So we ought to be very, very cautious that if we willfully offend the authorities by obliterating the law, then we are indirectly affecting the kingdom of God in a very, very negative way. But then he says, not just because of possible punishment, because uh, the world out there obeys civil laws only to avoid punishment, but we have something more even because of conscience, because we have to stand before God. You know, when you, uh, when, when you do a civil offense, you've done an offense both to man and also God, and you are liable to judgment on both scales, and you need forgiveness on both scales. So, the best way out there is just to obey the authorities and the civil laws, not just because we'll be punished, but because that punishment affects the kingdom of God in a negative way. And we also have the spirit of God in us and the conscience in us that gives us a standing before God and a civil offense, willful civil offense, will knock down our standing before God also. So we ought to be very, very careful for both of these reasons. Loving, living, gracious Heavenly Father, how many times we, need, we live negligently unaware that our faithlessness in these civil matters determine our spiritual growth spiritual work, investment, and ministry. 
and also our right standing before you and help us to be very, very vigilant. Jesus' wonderful, precious name we pray. Amen.